the seller called me back um, that same day. And she had a lot of questions because she's been getting a lot of text messages. And she said she's gotten some postcards, but I'm the only person that called her. Welcome, everybody, to the Wholesaling Inc. podcast, America's number one podcast for new real estate investors, where we know that finding discounted properties is the most proven path to financial freedom. I am your host, Brent Daniels, and I am telling you, if I can do it, so can you. So let's get started. My guest on the podcast today comes all the way from Germantown, Maryland. He's 27 years old, and this podcast is specifically designed for all of those introverts out there that are listening and thinking, uh, I don't know if I can get into this business. I'm not really a people person. I, 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 I kind of get into a shell. I get really nervous. I don't like really talking to a lot of strangers. Well, guess what? Neither does Christian Sam uh, Yoa and... <laughs> I think I got it close. Yeah. No, you got it perfect. Oh, okay, perfect. perfect. <laughs> uh, and and he's going to talk to you here because not only uh, is he a uh, recovering introvert uh, here, <laughs> but uh, he is doing he he is he is um, a part time wholesaler going to converting into a whole uh, a, a full time wholesaler, and he's going to tell you his incredible story. And it's just, I'm so excited to have you on here. I'm so excited that you posted a recent check of a deal that you did, because I know that that's so far uh, away from what your your natural instincts are. So first of all, welcome to the Wholesaling Inc. podcast. Man, thanks for having me, man. You know, this was a big goal of mine uh, to get on here eventually. So, I mean, you know, this is how I found out about the program. That's when I signed up. So, man, I just want to say thank you. Thanks, man. Well, thanks for the script and for the amazing content you put out. Well, thank you. I mean, listen, none of that stuff matters unless you actually take action, which you have been doing. So let's talk about this. You are a full-time electrician, right? Yeah. Yep, so what does your right. schedule look like? Pretty crazy. Um, so I wake up around like 3, 3 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. Uh, I get on the road. I work about 30 minutes away, Washington, D.C., um, so I'm about 30 minutes away from, from the nation's capital. <laughs> and um, that's I've been doing this for about uh, six years now um, as a full-time electrician. Um, so I get out pretty early, depending on the job sites, get out at 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. And that leaves um, you know enough time for me to maybe take a quick nap and then get, get on the phones. Incredible. So, I mean, don't, I mean, electricians typically make pretty good money, right? I mean, why even look for uh, something to replace that career, that job, that industry, you know what I mean? Like what's going on yeah. in your head? That's like, you know what? I don't want, I don't want to do this, you know, for the rest of my life or, or maybe you do like break it down. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just, um, I was just asking myself what's next, you know? So, before I was an electrician, I was a car mechanic and I was making even less, <laughs> you know, so I'm always just thinking to myself, you know, like, yeah, what, what's next for me? And uh, I got into real estate because, I mean, you know, I've, I've turned wrenches my whole life and, uh, you know, I don't have a degree, so I'm not going to, I'm not able to get an office job. So I got to create one, you know, <laughs> Absolutely. and that's what I've done. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. So when did you, how did you find wholesaling? I mean, did you, did you have a friend in the business? Did you have somebody that you were like, oh my gosh, what is that guy doing? He's at my same age or something. You know what I mean? Like right. he's making so much money. How did you find real estate investing slash wholesaling? Well, I actually started off as a landlord. So I was saving my money, you know, working as an electrician and I was putting cash away and I'd get, you know, get a lump sum, put it as a down payment, get a property. And I did that a couple of times. The last one that actually all the ones that I bought were actually off market. And he's, you know, the guy that I bought them from, he, he's a he's uh, real estate entrepreneur. He holds rentals, he flips and he wholesales. And, you know, my, my schedule is pretty busy. I'm already pretty banged up. I really don't feel like doing any flips. So when I found out about wholesaling, I'm like, wow, like you're, you're still kind of flipping, 
but you know, you're not turning any wrenches. Like I can do this from home. Because, I mean, as an electrician, you know, your natural instinct is, hey, go do some side work. You want some extra cash. Yep. But, but like, I mean, you know, like your body can only take so much. And I mean, I'm still young. I don't have any body aches or anything. I'm just looking long term. And I'm like, you know, I'm looking at these older guys. And I'm like, I don't want to be banged up like that. <laughs> sure, sure. So you were buying your rental properties from a wholesaler. Yeah, yeah, I was. Did you, were you seeing what he was making, or were you just like, how, what, what is going? How did he yeah. find this deal, or what was, what, what brought, what, what thread did you pull? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, pretty funny. Um, my friend was actually an agent, his agent, and he would get some of his properties from the MLS. And so, you know, my friend who's an agent was like, yeah, dude. I mean, he's like. Uh, he barely put anything into this one apparently like you know he put some paint some carpet and like he sold it to you i'm like oh that's cool hey i respect it and he would give me good deals like they were still discounted and I, i'm i'm absolutely happy with them they cash flow great so i'm you know if i could do it all over again i would still you know buy them from him and everything it's all cool sure um yeah so that's how i found out about it and the same guy who sold me the properties actually started teaching me about wholesaling so that's kind of how it got, you know, I got the ball rolling um, and, you know, and there was a lot of trial and error. Um, I did almost, I did like every single like marketing method you can think of. Like I was putting out bandit signs. You know? I was, I was doing PPC, Facebook marketing. I was doing everything. Um, I even, it was funny. I even tried cold calling, but I didn't even have a script or anything. I was just winging it. Like <laughs> <laughs> I was winging it. And, uh, you know, I came across the whole sailing ink podcast and you know, you, you were on it and you're talking about cold calling and I'm just listening to everyone just make, getting these deals. And I'm like, man, I, well, like this, I should be able to do this. Like they have two arms, two legs, just like me. I could do this too. Like, so that's when I gave you guys the call. I didn't even hesitate. You're like, yep, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, cool. That same day, I became a TTP member. And, man, I've been loving it. <laughs> loving it. When did you When did you join TTP? I joined, this was in um, late, late 2018. Okay, yeah. Yeah, incredible. And you were going, and it was kind of, it was tough to get that consistency, right? Because, yeah. I mean, you you have, like, a physically tough job. I mean, yeah. how did you... Was it was it tough getting like turning the your electrician job off, taking your nap, waking up, and then making calls? Like, how do you get <laughs> to that rhythm? Like, talk to me about yeah. that. how do you build oh, up? Yeah, muscle? yeah. Like, I would drive. You know, I'd get out of work. I'd start driving. At that point, I live closer now. Back then, I was living. I was literally driving like an hour and a half back home from DC. <laughs> so in that hour and a half, man, my energy was down. And mm -hmm. sometimes it was really hard to get that energy back up and be able to get back on the phones, you know, so I wasn't that consistent. Um, you know, now I've gotten a lot better with it. You know, I'll grab my coffee. Yep. Oh, there <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'll grab a coffee, you know what I mean? I'll get up and I'll start making calls, um, especially after my first one and second and all, so, so on and so on. I was like, man, this really does make money. So this is, yeah, I got to get on the phones. Yep. But it was pretty hard to stay consistent. Um, and, you know, we all kind of struggle with it. Even I still struggle with it sometimes, but I definitely am way more consistent now. That's the biggest change from me back then to me being able to get deals now is being much more consistent. Oh, 100 percent. And so was it just, you know, a little bit of caffeine, a little bit? I mean, was there something that you were just you, you had a bad day at work or it was f stressful or you just were fed up or, you know, you know, it's, it's interesting how we find energy to do things. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like right. it just comes out of somewhere. And a lot of times it just comes out of uh, frustration or it comes out of, you know, I, I, I want to, if I don't do this now, it's, I can't build the momentum. You know what I mean? Is that how it felt? I mean, you tell exactly. me. Exactly. I was like, I'm, I am my biggest enemy right now. It's me. It's me. It's, it's not the, you know, people on the other end. It's literally me. Like every day that I sleep through, you know, my hours where I should be cold calling, missing opportunities. I'm just delaying me getting to my end goal even further every single day. So 
I just kept telling myself that. And, and I started seeing people around me mm-hmm. that may have started, you know, wholesaling after me or same time as me start getting deals. And, and I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> you know, we're, we're all friends. Like we're, we all, we all squat up and everything. And I'm just like, I don't want to be left behind. I got, I got to get on this. That's really, you know, that was another really big push. That's really helped me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So break down your, your schedule for me, because I think there's a lot of people that are considering starting, getting into this business. They have a full-time job, but they're like you, they have that pilot light inside of them that says, you know what? I want to do something bigger. I want to work for myself. I want to be a true entrepreneur, a real estate investor. Um, talk to me about your schedule. Cause I want to, I want people to know that as an introvert, electrician with a crazy schedule is still finds the time and energy and passion to do this business. So break down a typical schedule for you. All right. Yeah. So right now I have my alarm set up at 3:45 AM. <laughs> so that's when I get up. Um, I get on the road at around like four, four or five, four ten. Mm-hmm. I, I punch the clock at 5 AM. I uh, get off of work at 1 p.m. I'm back home around like uh, 1.45, 2 o'clock. Get home, shower, get dressed, eat. You know, I, I might maybe, I, I'll definitely always listen to audiobooks or YouTube videos. <laughs> Your podcast is always up there. Your videos are always up there, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I get, you know, I feed my brain. That That really starts to hype me up, really gets me going. And get a good meal. If I have the energy for it, I'll go for a run. I'll do some exercise, and then, then I'm really pumped up. Now I'm pumped up. I'm listening to everything. I ate a good light meal. I exercised. Now it's time to get on the phone. <laughs> and, and and sometimes I have to fight myself too, right? But once I get on and I log in, and the first person answers, then I then I don't really want to get off the phone anymore. Right. So it's definitely like getting in there. It's it's kind of like you know a little bit of a hard. It kind of reminds me because I used to I used to do I used to box and it was the same thing. Walking to the ring was pretty tough. It was like oh crap. <laughs> and then you get hit one time, you're like, I've done this many times. Goodbye. That is the best analogy <laughs> I've ever heard. Seriously, that is that is absolutely flawless. I'm 100% stealing it. Uh, <laughs> not as a boxer, but as, go a, ahead, go as ahead. an analogy. Yeah. No, I I, I absolutely. Yeah. It's the absolute truth. We build up so much in our head. It's that long walk to the ring, building up in our head. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. You get in there and you're like, oh, I'm I'm built for this. I got this. Yeah. I've trained for this. I've got I've exactly. got the right skills. I've got the right mindset. I got the you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. phenomenal. Wow. What yeah, a it was, same, it was the same thing for wrestling too. Like in the tournaments, you'd see your name like on the brackets, you're like, oh crap. Whistle blows though, and you're like, "Hey, I practice every day, and this yep. is almost like practice. Like it's fine. It's, yep, it's the same thing. I'm here, familiar Ab- ground. Phenomenal. And and that is the truth. That's what I find time and time and time again when I talk to people that are just starting out, just starting to make. They they've never made a, a call to a stranger ever before, and then they get on into it and they have a conversation, a few conversations. They're like, oh. This is no big deal. Why was I so scared of this? Like, exactly. I, I, I hate I hate when I get uh, calls from people. Okay, great. Be on the other end of it. Get into the rhythm. It's actually a lot of fun. And not only that, the fact that you can turn one of those conversations into 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, whatever it is, 100,000. I mean, we've had students do a one call, make 400,000. You know, it's just that opportunity, right? Yeah, just that opportunity <laughs> is just so incredible. But you have to get past that first fear part and don't let your energy be sucked out by worrying so much about what you're about to do. And I think that that's, I mean, you hit it right on the head. That's incredible. So then you get into the rhythm. And how long is a typical uh, calling session for you? I definitely definitely never make it less than an hour i yep. always shoot for three like you know like you always recommend shoot for three hours yep um but if i were to really break it down on average you'd come out to about an hour and a half awesome 
Awesome. And in that hour and a half, are you where where do you make your calls? Is it your living room? Is it your bedroom? Are you standing? Are you sitting? Are you moving? Like talk to me about it. I'm definitely always standing. Yeah. Um, so like I have, you know, I bought a little stand up desk kind of like attachment on Amazon and it just, you know, anyone can do it. It's just not that expensive. And uh, you know, put my headphones in and just start calling. I find that uh, I just get a lot more energy that way like if I sit down I'm probably gonna fall asleep uh you know because I'm tired I'm tired so standing up it definitely just brings up a lot more energy oh 100 percent and listen I, I mean it sounds like a, a, like standing for an hour and a half is like a long time but once you're in the rhythm once you're talking once you're moving around I mean you're not just standing there with your knees locked like a crazy yeah. person you're you're moving yeah. around you're feeling the energy you sound way better you can walk around, you get your headphones in, and you just get into the zone, especially when you get into those conversations. It's different when people are like, no, I never want to sell. Okay, great, you're moving on. You get into one of those, yes, I do want to sell conversations. You're starting to pre-qualify them. You're starting to understand what their problem is. They're starting to unload their like whole family history and their whole life and everything, and you're just in the rhythm walking around. I'm telling you that time flies by. Yeah, it definitely does. It yep. definitely does. Like I, you know, and it's funny, my girlfriend said I, I'm going too far with it, but I literally will do any little thing that'll help me improve. Like I got a little stand up desk pad, <laughs> you know, like it's, oh, it's yeah. a balance board. Hey. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's like, it's a balance board, right? I'm just like any little thing, any little advantage I can get, I'm taking it. Right. So, Love it. Absolutely. Love it. So let's break down a deal. Let's get this bell ring. Um, let you, well, go ahead. You tell me about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, you know, one of my, my bread and butter list has so far has been probate list. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people, it, it's a lot of legwork to get, right? So I, I personally, I, I get the information from the courthouses myself. That way I'm, you know, one of the first people to get it. Um, I trained a VA how to do it. Um, so now she's, you know, she's scraping everything, finding the owners, the heirs, the representatives and everything. Right? So she goes to maybe like, like the county recorders uh, website. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I I copy and paste that out of there for her. Um, I'm not you know, I'm not an IT person, but because she's out of the country, it's something something with it. I can't explain. I don't know. But anyways, I have to get it myself. OK. And I put it into a Google Sheets. And that Google Sheets is shared with her. And from there, you know, she'll get she'll get the rest of the information there. And it's a pretty it's a it's a pretty long process to just get one record across because it's like you have, you know, you find the a property that's attached, then you find the representatives, then I skip trace them, and that's just one record, right? Yep. So so we'll get those done. Um so this list, this uh most recent deal actually came from probate. And um what I do with probates, I actually put my mojo on a single line and I'll leave voicemails with them. So mojo, what he's referring to there, if you're not familiar, is mojocells.com is a dialing system, a uh, dialing platform. And so you put in all your phone numbers and addresses, you press go and it, it, it'll dial for you. So you're not hand dialing the whole time like being with it being totally obnoxious and you can choose a, a single line dialer. And so you use it there. I mean, yeah. you, you, you turn it on to the single line dialer, right? Yep. 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 That's right. Yes. That's what I do with probate and for any of my like driving for dollars list. I'll, I'll put it on single line dialer and I'll leave voicemails. You know, these lists aren't that big, you mm -hmm. know, I'll get about, I, I scrape almost the entire state right in the hot counties and i'll probably get like 50 records a week <laughs> right so it's not there's not that many records so i definitely have time to just put on a single line dialer and leave voicemails for each one and that's what happened with this deal um the seller called me back um that same day and she had a lot of questions because she's been getting a lot of text messages and she said she's gotten some postcards but i'm the only person that called her. Yes, my man. 
Yeah, I'm so. you, it's just yeah. not, there's just not a tremendous, a lot of competition. And, um, in some of the, I mean, in some of the bigger markets, people hire these huge, you know, call, call centers to go after, but some of the smaller markets, um, there's literally nobody. I mean, it's literally yeah. wide open. Yeah. So a really good tip also, I mean, if you're doing probate, if the seller or the representative is out of state, which is what I had here, like she was all the way in Florida and the house is here in Maryland. Right. So she didn't want anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. She just wanted to, you know, she, she just wanted, she wanted a fair offer for it. So what I did was I sent her on prop stream. I pulled up all of the cash transactions that have been in the last 12 months with comparable properties in the one mile radius or half mile radius. And I showed her some numbers and that's, so on the phone, it was kind of like a soft close where we, we, we kind of, we had a ballpark like number figure and, you know, she liked it and she flew from Florida up to Maryland um, cause she had to clean out the house and, you know, we met up, we, we talked numbers, you know, I went a little bit lower <laughs> And then we kind of met in the middle. I still got a pretty good, I, I got a good, you know, a good discount and I offered her great terms that she was looking for. So then I, I turned around. So we, I locked this up for uh, 70. Yeah, I locked it up for 70. And two days later, I had it assigned already at, uh, at 88. Yes. So <laughs> hold on. So how much you make on that? It was an eight. 18k deal i netted 15 on it hold on a second <laughs> incredible and guys if you're just listening to this on the podcast make sure you check out the video interview at brent daniels real estate on youtube you can see a really incredible ttp coffee cup that christian just put up <laughs> absolutely incredible i mean eighteen thousand dollar deal um, 15,000 net to you. And I'm telling you probates. I know, I know people in this business that have made literally millions of dollars and, and built their whole career off of going after probates. Cause the fact is 75% of them sell within the first 90 days of new ownership, because a lot of times people don't live in the area or people don't want to keep it up or people don't have the financial resources to fix these up. So it is an unbelievable list to get. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get the list, but if you go through that extra effort and uh, Christian, what is your um, Instagram um, handle? It's a uh, cold calling Christian. I made one just for, for, uh, cold <laughs> for calling cold sailing. And, and yeah. it's uh, CR, right? There's no H. Yeah, CR without an H. That's right. Okay, guys, reach out to Christian. If you are one of those tech guys that can help him clean up that process and make it easier for his VA to, to pull those, because I know that there's some really smart people listening and watching, reach out to him and help him out with that. Cause there's a way to clean that up. And listen, I'm not a tech guy. You're not a tech guy, but I love squatting up with incredible people. If you have a passion for this business, if you'd like to reach out to Christian and squat up with literally one of the absolute best, kindest, smartest, most proactive guys in the country you got to meet up with this guy and squat up with him and really connect um at cold calling christian uh cr not ch and uh, reach out to him help him out with that process because uh that'll just keep things going faster and uh, get more deals but absolutely phenomenal eighteen thousand one call one yeah. call. Well, it wasn't. You called and you left the voicemail, which voicemail, is training yeah. specific lists. And yeah. she called you back, and 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 you started that relationship. And you went the extra mile. I mean, you sent her comps. You sent her. Um, you 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 backed up your offer with some information so that she yeah. felt comfortable and confident moving forward with you. I mean, exactly. absolutely incredible, incredible. Yeah. And the reason why I did that too, um, just a tip, is she's an engineer so i knew she was an analytical person yeah so you know what i'm like i'm gonna just show her proof in numbers and that's exactly it worked great she said i was like the most transparent person i gave her the most information up front and i gave her all the terms that she wanted so it was just perfect you know she didn't even want an offer from anyone else so and that's incredible how we did it. 
Yeah, yeah, part of the TTP training is really understanding the different personality types and analyticals uh, have a really tough time making decisions without facts and figures. And when you have, when you're having a conversation, this is just a tip for anybody listening or watching. When you have somebody on the phone that says that they're an engineer, or they say that you can tell that they're asking questions, or they're they're very low on emotion, their 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 tone of voice isn't going up and down a lot. It's kind of flat. You can assume that this is probably an analytical person, and you need to give them facts and figures to be able to make a decision. And the fact that you recognize that Christian is absolutely incredible because when you you understand the different personality types you know how to communicate because there's probably a lot of people that were just trying to bow you know push through the offer and she needed more information and you gave it to her man that is pro 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 that is incredible thanks man thanks yeah, yeah. man i mean like like you mentioned i got it got it off from the ttp program um yeah that's everything like you mentioned also on there to you know, to hand dial and to leave voicemail messages. That's exactly what I did. Yep. Worked yep. To the Incredible. <laughs> so speak to uh, anybody out there. Let's say you're starting brand new. You have a tiny little budget for this. How would you go about getting your first deal? If, yeah, if, if you're brand, brand new, um, what I would probably, I would do, well, first of all, I'll do what I'm doing because that really costs barely anything. The list is free. You just got to put some work. You know, skip tracing and batch skip tracing is just 18 cents per record. And it's not that many records, but those records are really hot. Like, I'll do a probate deal. I'll get a probate contract, like, every other month. Yeah. So it's it, it's out there, you know, and it's free information. It's out there. I would do that. I would also, I would also like to be almost like a disposition person. You know, if someone has deals, they're hot, go the extra mile, like, you know, scrub scrub llc's in that area and then bring a buyer to them mm -hmm. that's something else that i would really do too if you know if i was really starting out again so when he's saying scrub you mean find the owner of the llc find their address get their information just skip trace it like anything else and reach out to those people and see if they want to buy more yeah exactly and by exactly. the way batchskiptracing.com is at 14 cents an address now so, uh, yeah, they just reduced. So that's even oh, better. Oh, when? Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yep. Yep. Starting I'm in May. To me so. too. Uh, okay. Cool. Yep. So cool. incredible, man. So phenomenal. Guys, reach out if you, if you have any questions or if you want to reach out or if you just want to tell them, great job, keep going. Um, what is the, uh, definitely reach out to Christian on his, uh, in, on Instagram. And then what is the, how soon are you to, completing your goal of getting into wholesaling full-time? Is there a number, is there an amount in your account that you feel you need to have before you make that transition? You know, I just, with everything, the world just being, you know, going crazy right now, uh, things like, looks like things are, you know, starting to come back to normal. You know, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Every deal I get, you know, I get, you know, closer to that goal. to just And saving it. Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Putting it away, set some aside for taxes, of course, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not that far. A couple more deals. Every deal I get, I get more comfortable. You're going to be there. You're, you are going to be there in the next 90 days or so. I'm telling you, <laughs> you are off and running. You've got your routine. You've got your process. You've got all of it down. You know that you can do it. Yeah, incredible. So I'm really excited. Thank you. Thank you for um, being on here. You inspire a lot of people that are nervous about being an introvert or they're nervous about, you know, getting into this business because they're from a different world or a different industry or different life. You're showing and proving that, you know, all that stuff going on in your mind as you're walking to the ring all goes away as soon as you step up and, and, and start moving and start uh, getting in action. So absolutely inspiring. I love it. Thank you for being on here. Uh, really, me. really phenomenal guys. A couple resources that he talked about. He pulled comps through PropStream. Uh, you can get access to that through ttpdata.com, ttpdata.com. Um, and if you're interested in joining the most proactive group in real estate investing, it is 
the TTP family. It is the TTP program. Uh, go to wholesalinginc.com forward slash TTP. It's wholesalinginc.com forward slash TTP. Check it out. If it feels good in your gut, sign up for a call. It'll either be with me or my right-hand guy, uh, and we look forward to that. So um, check that out. Christian, you're the man. I'm excited for that text that you're going to send me when you quit your job finally for <laughs> ever. So that's absolutely yeah. incredible. Thank you for being on here. Really, really awesome. No, thanks. Thanks, Brent, man. Thanks for the content and the course, man. It's amazing. You got it. And everybody out there, I encourage you, as always, to talk to people. Until next time. Love you. See ya.